morning all. My solar powered butterfly seems to have finally given up the ghost, which is a real shame because uh, you just don't see these in the pound shop anymore. This was a bargain at a pound, so either the motor has failed in that sort of rotating bit up there, or the solar panel, which you can see has gone all murky and cloudy, um, has failed. Don't know. Shame. I liked my solar powered butterfly. Anyway, today I want to look at these, which are my crocodile clip to um, four millimeter banana plug terminal post converters. There's uh, a red positive one, a black negative one. And then on the other side of the solar charge controller, I've got MC4 uh, solar connector to, again, four millimeter banana plug uh, converters. But you can probably see these haven't fared terribly well over the winter. We've had a very wet winter and these this one's gone all rusty. And I've noticed that when the battery is a little bit depleted and this is drawing a fair bit of power, this yellow one is getting hot. So the connection between the terminal post and the MC4 connector is now obviously impaired. The black one seems to be all right. But also these crop clips have gone quite badly rusty, uh, particularly this one, the negative one. So I'm going to make up another set of these. Now I've got no shortage of uh, parts for making up another, another set of these. Um, here are crop clips, the red ones. Uh, I ordered 50 of those. They came from Rapid Electronics. And here are 50 of the black ones. Of course the country of origin is China. And uh, in this box I've got lots of banana plugs with the metal bits, uh, red, black and yellow. More banana plugs it would seem, yep. And terminal posts. Now there aren't so many of these, particularly the red ones, I've not got many of those and that's because I'm tending to use them on projects like this now where I screw the terminal posts into the wood um, for my MPPT solar test rig and uh, also the MOSFET tutorial board I think used some of those terminal posts. And uh, here's a box full of MC4 connectors with the metal uh, pins and all the plastic shells. Now, if you're wondering why I've got so many crop clips, MC4 connectors, banana plugs and terminal posts, it's because I was planning to sell these adapters, the crop clip and the MC4 version, as a kit, or at least I was planning to sell an alternative version of the PWM5 solar charge controller which um, I was going to call the PWM5 Easy Connect and it would be the charge controller with banana plugs already fitted onto the ends of the wires and then these adapter connectors so that it's very very easy to just connect up a solar panel to one side and a battery to the other. But for one reason or another it never actually got done and it's partly because there were uh, quite a few little snags which never quite got ironed out. So for example, the black uh, crop clip is quite easy to put on and remove because the terminal post on a car battery, the negative side, has a smaller diameter than the terminal post on the positive side. And because of all this sort of um, extra covering, and I felt it was necessary to put these red sleeves back on. It just didn't look right when it was just black heat shrink. Um, this is sort of, I can't press this anymore and it doesn't come off very easily. So that was one of the snags which I didn't like about the product. Now if I open up this 
MC4 connector it's fairly easy to see what's gone wrong here there's a lot of corrosion inside um, there the water's got in corrosion inside the um, MC4 body part there this is quite ingenious actually because there's no direct soldered connection between the terminal post which has this threaded rod at the end with the nut on it and the uh, metallic inner part of the MC4 connector they kind of mate um, the nut there on the terminal post pushes down into the metal of the MC4 connector by a curious uh, coincidence of thread pitches so you've got this coarse thread pitch on the plastic and a fine thread pitch on the M3 nut there and that causes something quite interesting to happen I'll try and demonstrate this inside so you have to take out the grommet which is in here this thing which we don't use um, then by a curious coincidence let's take one of the nuts off there and take the washer off this terminal post fits exactly and I mean exactly into that hole it's not quite an interference fit it's a perfect fit and then it's a case of putting the nut on which I'll need to do with a pair of pliers so after several attempts I've managed to get the nut in there of course now I've got to tighten it up which means holding the nut with pliers and trying to tighten that so that it won't come undone again. Now there's something I didn't do when I was making these before, which I think I might try now. I've got some stuff called plastic weld, which I've had for years and years and years. It came from a model shop and it's, it's not really a glue, it's a solvent. It's actually a very low viscosity liquid. Um, and what I tend to do is try and catch some on the end of a screwdriver and then it just sort of drops in and by capillary action it will run round. Now that's actually quite a tight join but it's run round a bit and let's see if I can weld these two parts together which would create a seal and then that would of course stop the moisture getting in and uh, causing corrosion. Now plastic weld uh, works best on polystyrene. I know it doesn't work on polyethene, polythene, um, but uh, it'll be interesting to see whether it works on these two plastics and whether I can successfully seal that. Right, here's the next bit. I have to slightly reshape the pin that goes into the MC4 connector to splay out these wings a little bit so that they're slightly wider and they fit the inner circumference of the plastic shell that will probably do and then here's something that you would never normally do with these connectors I push that into the plastic shell if it will go in uh, before soldering to it which would normally be a complete disaster that's not going to go in easily is it um, because this is a one hit wonder sort of thing once this goes in that needs reshaping actually yeah once this goes in it ain't never coming out again so let's force that in and that's it so that's pushed in there that won't come out because it's got uh, sort of barbs that um, keep it held in but now here's the interesting bit here's the science bit ladies the nut on the thread there, the M3 thread, when it binds into the metal that's inside the MC4 connector will rotate on that thread and it will wind itself back down the thread but of course the thread pitch of that is finer than the pitch of the thread on this outer plastic so if I push that in and turn it I can feel that what's happening is that nut is actually sliding down inside the wings or the the metal part that uh, that's inside the MC4 connector shell. I can't show you it happening and of course if I undo it the nut comes back 
to the surface but that nut is actually working its way slightly down that threaded shaft but at a slower rate than these two parts are closing together so the net result is that that nut slides part way into that piece of metal that's inside there and you get a reasonably good connection you can just feel that it's good and solid and that those two parts are electrically joined and as I say with this one that um, went rusty and corroded um, it was more about moisture getting in than uh, than a poor connection Right, well now it seems that the plastic weld hasn't worked because I can turn these two relative to each other. So plastic weld, no, I'm not sure that that's the answer. So there's my new replacement uh, MC4 to terminal post adapter. The old one I will now get rid of. And so I can connect this onto here. Like so and then uh, actually that needs a new banana plug of course because that's all corroded as well so I'll solder new banana plugs onto this PWM5 solar charge controller so that's the uh, MC4 to terminal post adapter done now the next thing is to make some new ones of these um, crock clip to terminal post it's fairly obvious how these go together but one of the things I wanted to uh, have particularly was that you could squeeze it by the terminal posts and they wouldn't uh, break. So the mechanical connection between the terminal post and the crop clip had to be very, very strong so that you could do this. Because I knew that if I sold these things, people would squeeze them at that point and I didn't want them breaking and people sending them back. So the first thing I do is I shove a screwdriver into that little... Um, bent piece of metal there to sort of shape it to a standard shape and then I use pliers to bend these wings out uh, slightly so this is how it's done I've got the terminal post with the nut on it through that little loop of metal on the crock clip but also you can see that um, I've left the nut on the terminal post the large diameter nut and I solder that to the metal of the crock clip and the reason for that is because I need this strength remember I said that I felt that people would press these well without soldering that all that happens is it all bends and goes misshapen and that's what I didn't want so I solder the nut you can see where the nut there has come away from the metal of the crock clip I actually solder that so with the nut um, soldered as well the uh, the top bit there soldered this thing becomes very strong and then it's just a case of putting heat shrink on I use adhesive lined heat shrink because it creates even more strength and then I put these colored um, cover pieces here are the two black ones back over the top to give it even more strength so there it is that's uh, what would have been the PWM5 easy connect version um, I've now made my new yellow connector. I do need to replace the banana plugs. The black connector I'll probably live with. I think that's alright. Actually, no, I may, maybe I'll make a new one of those as well. Um, I've started to make the new black uh, crock clip connector. I need to solder that, heat shrink it, and uh, put these coloured covers back on. You'll notice that these um, coloured covers fade terribly in the sun. This is the original red and this is the light pink colour that they've gone. But um, there is something that nearly became a product. Didn't quite because of a few snags. But uh, now that the PWM5 is no longer for sale, then obviously it doesn't make sense to sell this set of connectors. But um, this is, uh, for me, new set of connectors for the new season because it's summer. And because it's summer, that means that the uh, solar charge controllers now take centre stage in my projects. So I'm going to get back into the MPPT solar charge controller project. And probably more important is the um, Arduino PWM 
charge controller project which I really want to get on with now because um, that's going to give me the algorithm that's going to end up in this MPPT version for battery voltage maintenance which I've not got around to yet.